Imagine living a day without electricity to charge your iPod or your phone. Unfortunately, millions of people across the world are lacking electricity and building electrical systems is very expensive. However, what if we could use carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere to generate electricity and transport this energy to places lacking electricity? Or we decided to attack this problem by creating a long-lasting and efficient battery cell. Batteries are made of multiple electrochemical cells called voltaic cells. A voltaic cell uses spontaneous chemical reactions to generate electricity. To determine what to use for the electrodes, I consulted a standard reduction potential table which lists substances in order of their ability to gain electrons and the free energy change formula which calculates the amount of non-PV work a cell can do. For the end of the cell, I used aluminum foil, and for the cathode of the cell, I used waste, silver-plated copper guitar strings. I poured 75 milliliters of carbonic acid into two half cells, and put two spoonfuls of salt into each half cell to catalyze the reaction. I put the aluminum in one half cell and a guitar string in the other. I electrolyzed the solution to further speed the chemical reaction up. Although my intent was to use solar cells for green energy, they were not available to me, so I used a 9-volt battery. Using this procedure, I made three battery cells to test electrolysis efficiency. Once I tested 5, 10, and 15 minute electrolysis periods, my results showed that 15 minute electrolysis produced the most effective battery cell. My battery, which produces approximately 800 millivolts, is green and cost effective because it can use recycled aluminum cans and used guitar strings, which are both free. As a result, many habitats and thousands of dollars of expenses can be saved by reusing materials. I'm Sahil Doshi and thank you for watching my video.